Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our sixth video in PyQt5 Graphical User Interface Application Development. In the previous video we have uh, talked about layout management in PyQt5. Uh, especially we are uh, created an example of HBox layout and VBox layout. And you can see this is from the uh, previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video, you can watch that. In this video, we are going to continue our layout management topics in PyQt5 and uh, particularly we are going to create an, an example of grid layout. Uh, so, uh, by using grid layout, uh, you can uh, control your UI components in a row and columns. So, when I make an example, uh, you'll see that what I mean. Uh, I have created a new uh, Python file at the name of grid layout and I will copy some codes from my the, my previous video because uh, I don't want that the codes should be repeated because these are the same so I want to cut these, uh, copy these imports and uh, you can see I have uh, imported Q application, Q push button, Q dialog, group box, H box layout, V box layout and uh, <coughs> I think at this time I don't need uh, and uh, hbox layout uh, like let me just remove this because I want just vbox layout okay now uh, after this uh, let me just create a class window and it will inherit from QDialog and let me create the constructor a super dot in it after this I need um, a title, uh, an icon and also these things I want to copy and paste it in here okay now the title I want to change this uh, to PyQt5 uh, grid layout grid layout <coughs> Uh, after this, let me uh, create another method in here, diff uh, init window, and uh, I want to set my these uh, variables. So in here, uh, I need these. Uh, this is my title, uh, my icon, and also this geometry, and you can call your init window in here dot init window okay after this uh, let me just first uh, and uh, let me show this so self dot <coughs> dot show and uh, in here okay now uh, let me just first uh, create the window I want to create uh, a queue application object a window object <coughs> uh, let me uh, start the loop app dot execute <coughs> Now let me run it. You can see now I have a nice window like this. After this, let me create a new method in here. Create layout. First, I need to create a group box. Self dot group group box group box and the text is what is your favorite programming language okay like this now I want to create a grid layout uh, grid layout Q grid uh, Q 
I haven't imported grid layout, I think. <coughs> no. So, Q grid layout. Okay. Uh, Q grid layout. Now, after this, I need some to copy some codes because I need buttons. So, let me just copy uh, this one button and uh, like this okay uh, the first one I want to give it for example Python language and also I have uh, some icon for this uh, Python icon dot png and uh, mm, this is correct and uh, this should be grid layout because grid layout dot add widget button now <coughs> Uh, for a uh, grid layout, we need a row and column. So, 0, 0, 0 row and 0 column. My first button should be in 0 row and 0 column. Let me just copy this and uh, paste it. Uh, so, grid uh, button, yeah, grid layout dot add widget, 0, 0. Okay. Paste it in here and uh, <coughs> this is button 1 button 1 button 1 button 1 and uh, this should be button 1 and this change this to 1 first and also I want to change uh, uh, this is not Python uh, this is uh, C++ and I can name it cpp.png okay uh, this was my second button <coughs> uh, let me copy this and paste it in here uh, button 2 button 2 button 2 button 2 and uh, button 2 and uh, for this I want uh, first and zero this is the column and row uh, uh, numbers uh, button 2 uh, button 2 uh, this should be uh, Java Java and also the icon is uh, java.png uh, let me just copy this and paste it once more Okay, now for this, uh, this is C sharp, C sharp, and uh, button tree, button tree, button tree, button tree, uh, button tree, and this is one one, and the icon name is uh, C sharp, C sharp dot png. Okay, and at the end we need to uh, self dot group box dot set layout and we want to set our grid layout <coughs> okay now in the init window uh, in here uh, first we need to call our grid layout <coughs> self dot create layout now we need to create a vbox layout Q vbox and now we need to add widget self dot group box and at the end we need to set layout to our window so self dot set layout to our v box Okay, now this is our uh, complete code, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to run it. Okay, now you can see we have a grid layout. In a row, the widgets are in a row and column. What's your favorite programming language? And if I, you can see a layout, uh, a responsive layout. 
so this is the uh, first column the second column first row and the second row so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel